Your six o'clock is here. I don't have a six o'clock. You do have a six o'clock. Sarah walks into Jamie's life when he's looking for some kind of solution. The other night was... Wasn't it? Not necessarily love, but I definitely think he sees an opportunity as much as she may see an opportunity in him. It was unprofessional, and... Oh, you didn't like it? No, that's not what I'm saying. He sees in her an identical understanding of the power in law. We can do whatever we want, but I do understand what you're saying. A relationship would recuse you from representing the state in litigation against market equities or its partners. She is every bit the mind that Jamie is in an arguably more strategy-driven package. So you know, <laughs> the state hires outside counsel for litigation. Mm. You haven't accused me from anything. This is a constant chess game that she's actively in the moment present and playing. You did it for nothing. If you thought that last night was unprofessional. Jamie could be being played. It's not that he's being a fool or blind to it, but maybe it's worth the risk. Now, is that Jamie being fooled? It could be, who knows? It's so natural to do the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. For Monica, she knows, you know, she doesn't want him to carry that guilt around. Don't quit your job. Your job isn't why he died. Monica says that your job has nothing to do with the pain in our life. I don't want anything coming between us. Nothing's coming between us, baby. She comes along and really starts to guide him more than his family legacy does, and I think that means everything to him. I love you. I don't tell you that enough. Never doubt it. For the first time, he and his wife find a common ground. Through the pain, they finally find something where he's not at odds with her anymore, and I think that will finally help him decide what kind of man he wants to be. Summer came in here really against the family. You want to come tomorrow? Do I want to sit on the back of an animal you broke into submission? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> Summer, you are so full of shit. I don't understand these people. I don't understand their way of life. Four cameras. That's the action. We're eating in the dining room. You're going to be nice. But if you can't say something nice, you won't say anything at all. Summer is now a guest in the house. Beth has to put up with it. There's nothing she can do. It's her father's house. Come on, let's get this over with. Joining the Duttons at the dinner table is a shit show. This scene with Beth and Summer just prior to the big fight is, I think, one of the funniest things Taylor's ever written. Sorry, I didn't know you'd be joining us out of pick to different everything had I known. Gator's earnestness throughout all of it is really the linchpin to the entire scene. Tonight you'll be having an assortment of game. We'll have roast duck. Are you aware that duck's mate for life? Even if the humor is dark, you're laughing. You're serving the bird of peace for dinner? That was pretty good. <laughs> I love the dinner scenes. For a lot of it, I can just sit back and watch Summer and Beth. <laughs> Let's you and I take a walk. Maybe I can help educate you on our differing ways of life. We've just never had a peaceful meal, it seems. And that one turns really violent. As a director, the fights over the years have been that of gladiator status. And I think the fight between Summer and Beth is carrying on that tradition. You're everything that's wrong with this place. The only thing wrong with this place is you're in it. I don't think she was aware that she was, you know, a martial arts expert. Nine years since you did some bitch. We have not seen women fighting women with the same grit and fearlessness and ferocity that we see from these cowboys. I grew up with three brothers, you fucking hippie. The idea is that it is an extension of that same kind of fight. It's just with unlikely competitors. I've been excited to do this fight all season. We've been rehearsing for months. It took us two nights to film it. She does give Beth a run for her money in the fight. I loved that Beth is tested that way. Get the 
becomes about something much more profound to her. Your turn. I didn't think that Summer would live through a fight with Beth, but what happens is that by the end, I get Beth's respect for how hard I fought. You hungry? I'm not sure I can do anything. Just swallow it whole. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Shit. I'm sorry, we're not doing that anymore. And it starts to change our relationship. There might be butter in there. Fuck it. In a way, it clears the air between them. Let me get the first take in. It highlights that people raised in the same house, eating the same food, how different they can be. I uh, commend you, Britt. It must take a lot of courage to sleep next to that woman. You know the old saying, don't go to sleep mad. That's no, never true in my marriage.